Howdy! Welcome back to Weekly Game of News. I am BANG! And I'm a touch of evil. I'd say. This week in board game news, 225 offensive terms will be removed from Scrabble's official dictionary. Recognizing the power of words, the North American Scrabble Players Association has been called on to remove racial slurs and other terms from its lexicon. On a lighter note, I'd like to say with the warmer weather, there's a whole bunch of great games that you can play outside with your family. Now, be safe out there. Unfortunately, many current events have become too spicy to cover in our family-friendly videos. If you have any positive, entertaining, and maybe even interesting news you'd like to share, please comment below or tag at Inside Up Games on your social media. We would be happy to share. It's wild out there, y'all. Let's check in with Victory Points for his latest in entertainment news. Hi, today I'm reviewing Bonanza by Rio Grande Games. The first time you turn, you must play your first bee. You plant it. You may plant your second. Then you go to the market. The market, you place two beans out and you trade with people. People might say, I would like your blue bean for a green bean. Right? And you can say yes or no. Or they'll offer you sweeter deals like two green beans for the blue bean. Or sometimes you can give them a card in your hand that's gonna mess you up. I wouldn't have given away my blue bean. That would mean me either give up my three green beans or my three chili beans. If I didn't, I would throw out the green bean. I would take one of them that would make me one dollar. It will tell you three of the same kind of bean will give me one dollar on this card. You can have different types of beans. The good thing about that is that the more there are, the less valuable they are. The different types of beans. The coffee bean has caffeine, so he's going nuts. The most valuable is the cocoa bean. Then it will go to the garden bean, and then it's the red bean. The game ends while you run through the deck three times. Yeah, that's Bonanza. The art's super cute. My personal favorite is the black eyed bean because he was in a boxing fight and he got a black eye. The player count is two to seven players. Takes 45 minutes. Tough and up. Back to you. Who knew beans could be so much fun? Yeah, I did. I've been singing their praise for years. Bean salad, refried beans, bean burritos, cold beans, hot beans, Mr. Beans, Nunya beans, Manja beans, canned or fresh, they'll clear you right out. Gross. Why, yes, I would love to tell you about this week in history. On July 14, 1881, notorious American gunfighter Billy the Kid was gunned down by Sheriff Pat Garrett. He was 21 years old at the time of his death, and he had allegedly killed 27 men in his short life. Some say he was not in fact killed and lived until 1950 as Brushy Bill, living his best life riding in Wild West shows. They used to call me Bushy Bill back in high school. Well, let's get the latest weather report by checking in with Camel Cup. Camel up. That's what I said, Camel Cup. Camel up. It's great weather for camel riding. The sun is hot and the spinning is good. Back to the studio. Camel rides? I wonder if they have those down at HomeCon 2020. Which reminds me, let's check in with Fibber, who is somehow still alive on location. Hey, this is Fibber coming to you live from HomeCon 2020. If you've ever been to a convention before, you've seen that there is late night gaming. Well, guess what? I had the chance to play Beat the Parents with some kids, and I won. How does it feel to lose? I'm glad you wake up. No, you totally lost. It feels great, doesn't it? He had a great time. All right, this is Fibber signing off. Ben, you look like you've been up late night gaming as well. Nah, this is just my normal face. Oh, well, do we have any letters for Dee Dee this week? Yes, indeed we do. Dear Dee, my wife loves serving snacks when I have friends over for board games, but I don't want their greasy paws on my games. However, I still want to be a good host. What do you suggest from your friend Peckish Paul in Pittsburgh? Dear Paul, I love snacks, but I also love board games. My suggestion is that you can eat, wash your hands, play a board game, eat, wash your hands, play a board game, or play a board game, eat, wash your hands, board game, eat, wash your hands. I hope this helps. Happy snacking! Yeah, wash your hands for Paul's sake, or you'll be meeting me at high noon, and we'll be dancing the tango. Thanks for that sagely advice, Dee Dee. Bang, do we have a shameless plug this week? Oh, as a matter of fact, we do, but it ain't about us. Friends of the show, Thunderworth Games, have a current Kickstarter for Role Player Adventures. Now, I would support them anyways because they're good people, but even better, Tim Burning showed me the game on the internet, and doggone it, I loved it. I haven't been this excited for a delivery since I got this here barrel. I'm not sure if that's an endorsement they'll love, but please check it out. Until then, be well, do good work, and keep in touch. So, 
What do we do? And it won't be for chatting or kissing. Oh, it's really hot in this here now, barrel. Ride me in wild red with him. What? And so good, I lost my hat. Oh, la la. I love it. Oh, that's not a letter. 